it's it's a place where you definitely have to think things through. You know, make sure that the, your equipment's in order because this environment can be very, very rugged. But Lake Winnipeg can also be incredible. You know, it's a bucket list destination and it's something that you have to do at least once in your life. And once you do it, once in your life isn't going to be good enough. I would dare say that in one week of fishing up here, you can handle and touch more fish over 10 pounds than you can sometimes in a lifetime on most inland water. This lake holds massive numbers of huge walleyes. The greenbacks have made this lake famous, and that's why we're here. Oh, here we go. The bigger mark. It's back. There he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A little better one here. Getting started. He's protesting coming up the hole. <laughs> that's a good sign. They don't like that, do they? <laughs> hey, that's not a bad fish, Jason. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Boy, that's I just. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, man. They are healthy. It's so thick, girthy fish. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower this fish in the water here and get that hook out. That hook is so deep. That fish I got just some came up. That's ready. He, yep. Did he ever come up and yep. take a run at that? Yeah, keep her out of the gills there. Oh, Perfect. Right. We'll show her off. Beautiful fish. That is a greenback right there. <laughs> I mean, that, the bite is just a whoop. Yeah, it's the jig <laughs> bite on steroids. <laughs> You can't fish. beat it. They're well fed and they're like linebackers, you know, even oh, this man. guy here is just a fat fish and he puts up a good fight. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get this fish in the water right away. Yeah. Perfect. Boy, Great job. Don't you just love that sheen on those fish? Oh, it's just beautiful. Color. And basically, I mean, that fish just came right in class, but just is that rattling clam blade spoon and just just knocking those rattles and it's such stained water. That's what gives yeah. these fish its color. Exactly, it's like a, lime, a limestone base of this water. And it's a, best described as sort of a green chalky color. And that's exactly why those fish have that iridescent green shine. You know, and that's why you want to use a bait with a little bit of rattle, a little bit of flash and vibration. That's calling those fish into your bait, getting their attention. Well, let's drop it back down there and get uh, grab Rattle another one in. <laughs> Manitoba's Lake Winnipeg is the sixth largest freshwater lake in Canada, with 9,465 square miles of surface area. This 258 mile long lake can be daunting, but this massive lake attracts legions of ice anglers each winter. Regarded as North America's top destination for trophy class walleye, each fall a migration of walleye moves up into the Red River following a massive school of shiners and other bait fish. At early ice, these bait fish and walleye filter back into the south basin of the lake. This region of Lake Winnipeg is predominantly shallow, with a rolling sand bottom that shifts continuously. This rolling bottom of sand has lips and troughs that concentrate bait fish, and the walleyes key in on these locations. Oh boy, when a game plan comes together, man, <laughs> oh, that man. is a blast. Man, look at that. That feels good. Wow. Jumbo greeny. These fish are just gorgeous. Just it's tanks. awesome. Uh, it really is truly some of the most special walleye fishing in North America. <laughs> you look at some of the top, top walleye fishing destinations, places you have to get to before you die. This is definitely one you of them. You can't beat Lake Winnipeg. Now it's big water, it's it's a massive body of water, but don't be intimidated by this. You just have to realize that you have to be prepared for anything. You gotta realize that stuff is gonna break. It'd be brutal conditions out here, but as you can see by the quality of fishing, it, I, I, I'd break a lot of stuff. I'd break a leg to catch walleye just like this. <laughs> <laughs> the rewards are certainly worth the challenges. You can't beat catching walleye like this, despite cold weather, all sorts of things. Great day.
Oh, I got him on me. Here he is. Get that transducer in the way yeah. What do we have oh, here? Yeah. Get him out of the water here. Yeah. Fish just came in and ate it. Most places, this would be a nice walleye, but it appears this is what you call a baby greenback. <laughs> yeah, that's just above eater class right so, there. Eight years from now, this will be one of the fish that you see on Facebook that make this area so famous, but fun to see. I mean, it's good to see different year classes too, but yeah. We're really spoiled here. You catch a beautiful fish like that, all we can think of is let's get that one back in the water and catch one of these giant greenbacks. In yeah, absolutely. Let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing here to call in and catch these big greenbacks. We're faced with a big cold front. It's just a frigid mass of Arctic air moved over top of us here while we're fishing. Uh, we still want to make noise and call them in because we're probably not going to land right on the, the school of fish every time we drill. That's why we use a big rattle bait. It makes a lot of noise when you rip it aggressively. That gets the fish's attention, calls them over to the shack and lets them uh, have a look. Sometimes at a little more finesse bait. So you have, see here, we're doing a one-two. I'm using a rattle bait to call the fish in. Jason's using the uh, rattling blade spoon to uh, get them to bite. So it's a nice one-two punch. So that's what we do to get these fish to come in and commit on days when they're not coming in to smash the rattle baits. All right, here comes one, here comes one. Oh, there he is. There he is, oh, good fish. Fish that made this part of the world famous, I'm hoping. Could be a, one of anything in this lake, but let's hope it's one of those big greenback. Oh, wow. Oh, that fish does not want to come up here. Come on up here. Oh, yeah, good walleye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There oh, you yeah. go. Beautiful wow, fish, Jason. That is the greenback. Look at that fish. Lucky to even get it in, but. Wow. Look at him. This is just sheen on him. These fish are just beautiful. You know, and they get that, that greenback term is what made this lake famous. It's just big walleyes, big water. It's really a, a ice fishing dream trip. Big fish. <laughs> you big can't walleyes. beat it. That's everybody, fun. I don't care where you are. Everybody loves big walleyes. Get that one back and let's, yeah, get, let's get her in the let's water. Let's get another one. What an awesome deal. And you know what's so cool about this? It is big water, one of the biggest freshwater lakes in the world some of the biggest walleyes in the world but what's so neat about this is that whatever you think you know about icing walleyes you can throw it right out the window up here the program on this lake has been built out of necessity because there's not a lot of structure there's nothing really to hold these fish in a particular area so we're letting the baits call the walleye to us we're trying to move around cover these massive flats and bring the fish into us because we might miss that school of fish by 20 or 30 yards but if we make enough noise i will suck them in and come up the hole like that one did Oh, there's a nice one, Jason. Oh, yeah. Here, let me get real up here. He feels a little bit better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The rod's bent over. Under the ice there, up the hole. Here she comes. Oh, boy. Look at that. On a cold front bite. Oh, man. You, know, you we've cannot had to, beat. We've had to downsize. We've had to finesse them a little bit. We've tried dead sticking. You know, we've, we've had some fish come in on the rattle baits. They wouldn't hit the big baits. No. So we've been using smaller spoons with the rattles. You know, it's, it's 30 below outside, probably a little bit colder with wind chills, and so we've just had to adapt to these fronts. Wow, tough conditions, big time cold front. We're kind of camping out in one spot in a big hub yeah, here. Yeah. And a fish like this comes in and pops your spoon, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Safe. You know, we're chipping these spoons with just a piece of frozen shiner. Shiners are the backbone of this ecosystem. Spot tail shiners, emerald shiners. These fish are just chasing these shiners around this basin. And you get lakes where their little fish are feeding on shiners. It really helps. At times your presentation smells like a shiner. Here comes one. Oh, wow. What wow. a hit. A wrist snapper. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Wow, that fish just came in and just clubbed it. Nice big head shakes. Yeah, there they are. Come on. They do not like the bottom of that ice, but I guess I wouldn't either. <laughs> there he comes. 
Coming up, what is it? That dirty kind water of water. Water's water. Water starting oh, to boil. Oh boy, that's a lot of water moving yeah, there. A lot of water boiling. <laughs> it's always a good. Oh yeah, another tinker. Look at this fish. Grab yeah. a hold of that. Yeah, one. look at that. Just, oh my goodness, that is a Winnipeg greenbacks. Unbelievable. It's like it's a whole other species of walleye. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Girk, just beautiful colors. And how about that strike? I saw the, the rod oh. jump from, from my side of the yeah. tent. <laughs> they hurt your wrist when they hit. That unbelievable. Was great. Here, let's get this fish unhooked. Unbelievable. Unbelievable fish. Oh, isn't that fun? You know, for a lot of people, that's a once in a lifetime fish. You know, Lake Winnipeg, we try and do that once in a lifetime over and over again. <laughs> do it every day. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah, unbelievable. Let's get a few more. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, there's another one. <clears throat> Boy, this is incredible fishing. You had the hot hole here this morning, <laughs> most of the day here, but. Look at that, look at that. Wow, it's amazing how these fish come in and crush a bait. Uh, they're chasing bait fish all over here and it makes them just voracious predators. When they come in and strike, there's no question about what's happening. Yeah, fish in Lake Winnipeg have uh, somewhat predictable seasonal movements. They travel this huge basin, but they do so uh, chasing bait fish and uh, they come up and follow the shiners into the Red River in the South Basin here in the fall. A lot of big fish get caught in the Red River. Early season, shallow water in and around the Red River can be real productive for big fish. That's December through January. Fish seem to spread out a little more through the February and early March and there's a definite uh, north to south migration as progresses towards the end of March as fish come towards the river mouths to stage for spawning. So it gives you a, a bit of an idea of where you want to start to target fish given the time of year you might come up here. The uh, fish movement on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis is uh, driven by a huge back eddy. The Red River flows putting a ton of water into Lake Winnipeg. That drives plankton, that drives bait fish, and of course walleye are following those bait fish. So you can uh, predict a uh, east to west movement following that, those back eddies here along the west shore as the day progresses. Typically west to east in the morning, east to west in the afternoon. Well, here comes one, here comes one chasing that rattle bait up. Oh, oh that's a big fish. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. Get that transducer out of your way here. He's been in the rod over. <laughs> oh wow, that's a nice fish. That's a good fish. He doesn't want to come up the hole. Boy, they're a heavy fish for their length. Oh, wow. <laughs> Great walleye. What a beauty fish. That is a tank of a walleye. <laughs> Eating that rattle bait. Boy, oh boy. You know, a lot of these rattle baits, they look big, especially if you're you yeah. know, from a lot of water where the walleyes run a lot smaller, but you look at the moths on something like that, that's a little snack for a fish like oh, that. They, they eat them right up. Anything that can get their attention, especially when they're on the bite and chasing yep. them up, all you see is a red streak on your Vexlar. Awesome. Here, let's get him get unhooked. That, get that fish unhooked here. There we go. Yeah. Beauty. What a tanker. That's a linebacker of a wall. <laughs> and, a, and a predator too. <laughs> oh, big time. Chasing these bait fish and these rattle baits get their attention and they chase those too. Awesome. Let's get him back. Great fish. Heavy, heavy fish, big fish. Boy, they are scrappy. Oh yeah, they that's get... the one we're looking for here. See him yet? Don't see him. See a lot of water moving up and down that hole. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Grab him, Jesus. <laughs> that is a tink. What a fish. Of a fish. Wow. Get oh. that fish unhooked here. There. That is a great fish. A great fish. That's a nice representative of the greenback. <laughs> wow, look, I just love the girth on these. You just see how that dorsal fin looks so short because their bellies, <laughs> the rest Hang of them down, are just yeah. so thick. 
Awesome, awesome. Did fish. you even see that fish? You know, in? it was just a blip, you know, and some of these big fish, I mean, it looks like an inch and a half mark on the big summer. They come in, there ain't a doubt in your mind. That's what's cool. What's rolling below? Awesome fish. We'll get this fish in the water here. These fish are showing up anywhere in the water column. There's not a lot of structure. And so you're targeting ice heaves, you're targeting jagged ice, any type of a difference, but these fish are so random that you just have to keep moving. And for a lot of people, they might be intimidated, but if you have the right program with the right mentality, sure. this is where dreams come true. It really helps to have the right gear on this lake. It's a, it's a testing ground for gear. It's cold, windy, hard packed snow and ice. And uh, to be successful and keep moving around and stay warm, you gotta have the right stuff. And it's all part of the program. It all ties together and lets you catch the fish of the lifetime, hopefully. Well, here he comes, here he comes. Got him. All right. <laughs> that feels like, oh man, I that think feels good. Big walleyes, I don't think you can ever get tired of that. No. Man. Oh yes, that, that is, is a fish. That is a beautiful fish. Worth all the challenges that this cold weather and big lake brings. Get this big boy back and then talk about a few things that make us successful when we're in these harsh conditions chasing these big walleye. So this lake is fraught with challenges. You know, it's huge, windy, cold, hard packed snow, jagged ice, tough on gear. And you have to be prepared. So anything that you can do to build in redundancy is keep as much gear as you can on suspension, on your vehicle, on your snowmobile, anything like electronics, it helps keep them from breaking. Beef up every part of your unit, tow bar, get the heavy duty tow bar, runners on your sled, it'll keep things from breaking, it'll keep your things in good condition, and it'll let you be efficient while chasing these big fish. You know, cold weather brings a lot of challenges for your gear. Nothing is gonna work exactly like it is in the showroom at 45 below. Zippers on your houses, you can uh, keep them moving, put a little bit of chapstick or ski wax on there, it slides, it prevents the icing up. You're gonna to wanna to use a bulk propane tank. The one pounders don't work in this, in this sort of frigid temperature. And make sure that it's not overfilled. An overfilled propane tank, when it gets down to 40 below, isn't going to flow and you're not gonna keep you warm. If you're not comfortable, you're not gonna fish effectively. And one more thing that often goes overlooked, and these small details means success when you're fishing. When you go and you're moving from spot to spot, as you often have to do on Lake Winnipeg to find these pods of fish, your rod and reel goes from warm to cold back to warm. The drag seems to get a bit sticky. Make sure when you drop it down, give it a quick pull that gets any of that stickiness out of your drag and you don't want that when a giant greenback comes and smashes your bait. Oh, big mark, big mark. Oh, big fish. Oh yeah. What do you got here? Yeah, another. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a. <laughs> look at that. Oh. that is... Wow. <laughs> oh, grab onto him, Jason. Yeah. Whoa. Wow, wow that's an angry look fish. Look how fat that fish is. He doesn't want to uh, settle down here and come up the hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> there, grab onto him. Oh, look at that. Wow. Just a great, great walleye. They don't miss too many meals, do they? <laughs> they don't. You know, them at the forge base must be just incredible. Massive you know, amounts just, of shiners. Just, you know, they just, they just so thick. You know, it's just incredible body condition on these fish. Just shoulders on them. You can't get your arms around them, your hands around them. <laughs> awesome fish. Oh, you can't beat it. You know what's cool when they, they got these big bodies and little fins? That's just a... That's a quick growing animal right that there. That is, that is. Get that fish unhooked here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boy. Crushed the rattle bait, man. All right. What do you <laughs> yeah. got on there? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. I can't even get my hands in the gills. There's the, the zipper is everywhere in there. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, baby. Yo, that is a big fish. That's the biggest fish of the day. <laughs> that is a jumbo, a high flyer. And that fish wanted the zipper. 
So wow. you're, you're jigging a rattle bait up high. You find that per, quite often where those big fish cruise a little higher. And... Yeah, and especially when you get to the lower light periods, they just come up and feed like predators, man. These fish want to eat, get her unhooked, and get her back. That is an incredible wall. You can't even get that, your hands on that fish. Biggest fish of the day, but what an incredible, what an incredible day of fishing. I mean, Jumbo. Just, you see, you see more big wallies. You see more big wallies in a week up here that you had your whole life. We are on spoiled. most inland water. We're I mean, spoiled. Incredible, here. incredible. Get her back down. Wow. Fish is still managing. <laughs>